welcome back students this is the continuation of my previous video that is the ncrt exemplar questions on the periodic table now let us see one more question a sudden large jump is observed between ie2 and ie3 of an element the correct electronic configuration of that element would be what we know that the second ionization energy is greater than first ionization the order of different ionization energies is ie1 less than ie2 which is still less than ie3 etc okay students here to remove the second electron it requires a more amount of energy which is greater than first ionization energy that means we will see a, a, a gradual increase in the ionization energy from first to second second to third etc now here a large jump is observed between ie2 and ie3 to remove in the removal of third electron it is required it is giving a sudden jump sudden the difference between second ionization energy and third ionization energy is a, a very huge amount means it requires two electrons we can remove easily but for the removal of third electron it is requiring large amount of energy that means large jump is shown from second to third ionization energy okay so we can say that there are two electrons in the outermost orbit and the third electron may be present inside that inside the valence shell so to remove that third electron it is requiring large amount of energy so from this we can say that this element has two electrons in the outermost orbit okay so among these it is in the first option 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s1 only one electron in the outermost orbit so this is not correct and in the b 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p1 three electrons are present in the outermost orbit so it is also not correct three electrons can be removed from this configuration and in the c option 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p2 there are four electrons in the valence shell so we will observe a jump from fourth to fifth in the option c so this is also not correct and in the d option there are two electrons in the outermost orbit 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 two electrons in the outermost orbit to remove the third electron we have to remove it from the penultimate shell inner shell so to remove that third electron it is requiring a large amount of energy so the option d is correct for this question okay students like next question is the process involving the absorption of energy which process involves the absorption of energy among these that is the question and here in the options f is becoming f minus cl becoming c minus and oxygen o becoming o2 minus ion and h becoming h minus that means electrons are added when an electron is added to a free neutral gaseous atom the energy is released from the atom that energy is known as electron affinity we know that means here electron affinity values are involved in these processes and here in the first option the electron affinity ea1 is involved because only one electron is added to the neutral atom and in b option also only one electron is added ea1 is only involved and in the c option o is becoming o 2 minus that means two electrons are added that means o becoming o minus which involves ea1 and o minus becoming o 2 minus which involves ea2 okay and in the d option h is becoming h minus so it also involves the first electron affinity value now in this the amount of energy is released from the atoms in these three processes a b and d processes the energy is released from the atom it is not involving the absorption of energy and in the option c also in the first step o becoming o minus 
some amount of energy is released from the atom okay and it is taking we are trying to give one more electron to this o minus ion that means the number of protons is remaining constant protons remaining constant but the electrons are increasing number of electrons is increasing so what happens the effective nuclear charge decreases on the outermost electrons as the effective nuclear charge decreases the electrons will the electrons will not be attracted by the nucleus effectively so there develops some repulsion between the coming electrons and the electrons already present inside so to overcome that electronic repulsions we have to give some amount of energy from the outside so the energy will be absorbed in the second process in the option c so option c is the correct one in which the energy is absorbed okay students so c is the correct answer for this question next question is this is based on the ionic radii among k plus cl minus ca2 plus and s2 minus ions what is the correct order of decrease in the ionic radii the ionic radii how they decrease how these four species are arranged in the decreasing order of their ionic radii that is the question now here first of all let us see how many electrons are present in this k plus k plus means 19 minus 1 plus 1 means it lost one electron so 18 electrons cl 17 plus 1 18 electrons ca 20 minus 2 electrons and yes 2 minus means 16 plus 2 18 electrons so all these are having the same number of electrons that is 18 electrons so they belong to isoelectronic species isoelectronic series okay and what is the correct order of their decrease in the ionic radius let us see and among the cations here there are two cations k plus and ca2 plus k plus and ca2 plus in this which is bigger the ion with maximum positive charge is smaller so k plus is bigger than calcium and among the anions cl minus and s2 minus cl minus and s2 minus among the anions the ion with higher negative charge is bigger the ion with higher negative charge is bigger so cl minus is less than s2 minus that means s2 minus is bigger than cl minus okay this is decreasing order and this is also decreasing order now let us see ca2 plus ca2 plus greater than k plus ca2 plus is not greater than k plus so it is wrong option and cl minus is greater than s2 minus this is cl2 minus is not greater than s2 minus so this is also not correct by seeing the first two we can conclude and s2 minus is greater than cl minus it is correct only and but ca2 plus is not greater than k plus so this is also not correct and in the option D, S2 minus ion greater than Cl minus, greater than K plus, greater than Ca2 plus. So, this is the correct answer for this question. Okay, students, like that we have to compare the ionic radii of positive and negative ions separately and then we can combine them. It will be very easy to get the answer. The next question is, Successive ionization energies of an element M are 8, 25, 38, 260 and 310 electron volts. What is the formula of its chloride? That is the question asked. Now here we know that the second ionization energy is greater than first and third is greater than second and fourth is greater than third and fifth is greater than fourth. The ionization energies increase on the elimination of more number of electrons because of the increase in the effective nuclear charge. And here IE1 is 8, IE2 is 25, IE3 is 38, IE4 is 260. Now here 
we will observe a large jump a large jump in the ionization energy values and ie5 is a little greater than ie4 that means we can say that there are three valence electrons in this element m there are three valence electrons and to remove the fourth electron it should be removed from the inner orbit so that is why it is requiring a large amount of energy so we can say that there are three valence electrons in the outermost orbit of this element m and its valency is plus 3 what is the formula of its chloride the oh. its formula will be mcl3 its formula will be mcl3 because m plus 3 and cl minus this plus 3 Three comes here and one comes here. MCl3 is the formula, so option C is the correct answer for this question. Okay, students. Next question: The IE1, IE2, IE3, IE4 of an element A are given here as 6.0, 10.0, 16.0, and 45.0. Electron volts respectively. The molecular weight of its oxide. First of all, we should know what is the molecular formula of its oxide. To write the molecular formula, we should know the valency of that element A. How can we know the valency? By seeing the ionization energy values. Here, if we observe a sudden jump between any two successive ionization energies, here IE1 is 6, IE2 is, IE2 is 10. IE3 is 16 and IE4 is 45. Here from IE2, IE1 to IE2, IE2 to IE3 only a little increase is there but from IE3 to IE4 there is a large jump. That means we can say that there are 3 valence electrons in the outermost orbit of an element A. There are 3 valence electrons and its valency will be plus 3. Because the, to remove the fourth electron it is requiring large amount of energy. So, that removal of fourth electron is a difficult one for this element A. So, the valency of this element A is plus 3, A plus 3 and what will be its oxide formula? Oxide is we know that it is O2 minus. So, from this what will be the formula of its oxide A2O3, A2O3. Now what is its molecular weight? The molecular weight, atomic weight of A is given as X. So there are two A atoms, so X into 2, 2X plus each oxygen atomic weight is 16, we know that 16 into 3. 48. So, the answer will be 2x plus 48. It is 2x plus 48. 2x plus 48 is present in the option B. So, option B is the correct answer for this question. Next question is the elements x, y and z form acidic, basic and amphoteric oxides respectively. What is the correct order of their electronegativity values that is asked in this question. We know that most electronegative element form acidic oxide, most En, most electronegative elements form acidic oxides, most electropositive that means least electronegative elements form basic oxides basic oxides and the one which is present in the middle forms the amphoteric oxide. So, if we know what is the most En element and what is least En element, the third one comes in between them. So, amphoteric oxide is given by Z. So, Z comes, Z should come in the middle okay? and the one with acidic oxide is formed by X. So, X En is greater than Z which is greater than Y. X En is greater than X Z and Y. X Z and Y. This order is present in the option C. So, 
C is the correct one for this question. Okay, students. So far, I have discussed many types of questions based on the periodic properties. These all these questions are very useful to do the questions in the periodic table. Okay, students. Have a nice day. And thanks for watching. Please do subscribe to my channel.